What's up, Saiyan Army? Welcome to the video. So what you're seeing on your screen now is a pull workout. However, let's just get right into the topic of today's video. Now, in my last training video, I asked you guys for some topics that you guys want covered. If you guys have any new topics that you guys would want covered in future videos, make sure to drop a comment down below. So someone asked me, Goku, how has your training changed going from your 20s to your 30s? Now, obviously, if you had to choose lifting when you're 20 years old versus 30 years old, you're gonna always choose 20. Why? Because, you know, faster recovery times, more energy, and your test levels are through the roof. However, there's lots of pros lifting in your 30s as well. And that's what we'll cover in today's video, as well as tips for you guys going into your 30s. Now the first one, and this one's kind of obvious, and that is knowledge and experience. Let's say you started lifting when you're 20 and now you're 30 years old. You built 10 years of consistency in the gym. You blew through your newbie gains and you learned a ton. I mean, you do anything for 10 years straight, you're gonna be damn good at it. <laughs> so you're very in tune with your body. You know when you're about to hit failure, you know when you're gonna need a spot, you know if you're strong that day or if you're feeling weak that day and you gotta back it off a little bit. You know when you know you're getting close to injury, you know when to you know let something rest a little bit longer. We're not making those newbie mistakes of trying to train through an injury and making it worse. However, speaking of gym safety, a topic that I did wanna cover is about the bodybuilder that passed away squatting. Now, yes, he was in his 30s. However, the mistake he's made is made by a lot of gym newbies and just anyone in general, really. People that live 15, 20 years and just are lazy. So it's a good reminder and that's something I wanna talk about. And that is just set up those damn safety bars when you're squatting in the rack. Take those two minutes and set up those safety bars. It could save your life, it could save you from injury. If you're having someone spot you, make sure you coach them on how to spot you. Make sure they know what they're doing. Let's say you're lifting at a CrossFit gym or someplace where they don't have racks where you can put up the safety bars. Make sure you know how to bail from the squat. Make sure you practice it. Don't don't wait till you have to do it when you're doing your one rep max on your back to learn how to bail from a squat or just any exercise in general. Just safety is always first. A great quote I recently heard, I believe it was from Alex's video, and he said, when you're young, you should train like you're old. And that is so true. Like a lot of my injuries that I have today, like my tricep tendonitis and my lower back, all happened within the first like two, three years of my training. And that's why knowledge is power. When I first started lifting, people would say, you're a pussy if you don't squat or deadlift. And those lifts were absolutely mandatory to do. And today we all know that's not true. They're great movements, however, not mandatory. The second thing is cardio. Cardio is so important. I don't care how old you are, if you're bulking, your cardiovascular health should be at your utmost priority. Honestly, for me, I didn't do a lot of cardio in my 20s. Why? Because I was blessed with a higher metabolism, you know, which kept me lean regardless if I was bulking or not. The only time I really did cardio was if I was actively cutting. However, having a faster metabolism can also be a blessing in disguise. We all know those people in high school that could eat whatever the hell they wanted, not work out a day in their life, and always stay lean no matter what. However, a lot of those people that I knew are now fat. Why? Because their metabolism, as they got older, started slowing down. And because they didn't those healthy habits of working out or doing cardio they eventually just gained the weight and got fat and unhealthy and that is why it's so important to build those habits my goal is to see my kids my kids kids and run circles around all of them next point is stretching the older you get the more important stretching gets you know so start when you're younger it'll carry on to when you're older for me personally I do dynamic stretching pre-workout and I do static stretching post-workout another thing I want to do on my active rest days is start doing yoga because my mobility isn't where I want it to be and I need to work on it. Next is rest. Rest is so important for recovery, injury prevention, and just overall health. In my 20s, I would go out, stay out all night, hanging out with friends or playing video games all night. I would sleep for a few hours, go to the gym, and it was all good. However, most people in their 30s are settling down now. Now, obviously, this is very dependent on, you know, your situation or whatever, how many kids you have, how well they sleep. For me and Sandra, fortunately, a calming sleeps for like around 12 hours every night so we're able to get in our rest so what I recommend is aim for eight to nine hours of sleep a night ideally now yes I know a lot of you guys can't get that all at once so try to get it by taking naps throughout the day you know it will add up and it will help now finally if you're in your 30s and you lifted through your 20s and you built that foundation you can now decide whether to step on the gas or step off now let's say you started lifting at 15 like me and now you're 30 you've been lifting for 15 years straight let's say you gained a ton of knowledge during those 15 years you did everything correctly 
you try to stay as injury free as possible. Granted, like I don't know anyone that's been lifting for 10 plus years that haven't incurred at least one injury throughout their time. Granted, they're pushing themselves. Well now, since you put in the work, you can either decide to go into maintenance mode and back off the training, lift three to four days a week, still lift heavy, still do your best to maintain as much as possible. And with all that extra time that you now have, you can decide to pick up a new hobby, do something else, learn a new language, learn an instrument, do whatever the hell you want however for me i still believe i can make some good gains till i hit 40 you know we'll see once i get there things may change however training and the gym is something that i absolutely love and it's something that i plan to do to the day i die so that's going to be the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed for online coaching shoot me an email gogoflex.jima.com for programs in army.com much love strength and honor aloha